Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Here I go again. This is another very, very long, long wig. Let me get my mirror. I want to show you how long this wig is in the back. Look how long that goes. All the way down my back. Can you see that? It is a very, very long and beautiful hair wig. Just gorgeous, long, long, beautiful, beautiful waves. This is in Sunkissed Blonde or Medium Ash Blonde with Gold Blonde Highlights. That's the color. Uh, Sunkissed Blonde or Medium Ash Blonde with Gold Blonde Highlights. The number is 1426A. That's the color number. And this is called the Gale by Paula Young. This is the Gale wig. Gorgeous, gorgeous wig. I love the fluffy bangs in the front, and it's got a little bit of permatease, a little poof on the top, and it's got this long, it's got kind of an 80s look to it, I think. And it's just a beautiful, long, long wig. Now, why do I keep buying these long wigs? Well, because every so once in a while, you really need a ponytail. You really want to wear a ponytail. So I know I'm an older lady and sometimes this doesn't look good, but there are multiple things that I can do with the gale to make it look perfectly appropriate on an older woman. Use a hair tie and just simply make a long pony, draw it back. You don't even have to have, with this hair, you don't even have to have any pieces coming down the front. You can just do it like this and put it in a long ponytail like that and it looks perfectly fine. If you want to, you can twist the ponytail around and catch it up for a very, very long, low bun. Something along those lines, which I kind of like. Very, very long, low bun. That looks natural to me. That looks like somebody's natural, natural, natural hair. I think this is a beautiful wig. I love the Sun Kiss Blonde. I love the color. I think the color is just gorgeous. And I think the wig really works. Um, this is a no fuss hair styling wig. You can do a lot of things with this wig. A lot of things. Um, you can braid it going down the back. You can put it into a high ponytail if you want, up here on top of your head. You can do the bubble, like this one down here that I have on the always. That's perfectly fine too. There's plenty of uses for a long wig on older ladies. Perfectly fine uses. I kind of like just putting her back in a low pony and maybe turning it under for a low bun. I kind of like that. I think that's a really good look for an older, older woman. And I'm older, older. <laughs> I think I'm getting into that category of older, older. So, not just older, but older, older. So there we go. See how pretty that looks? That looks perfectly fine on an older woman. You can certainly get away with wearing a long uh, wig just like that. So there are a number, numerous ways, including the bubble way, and to wear this particular wig. This is the Gale by Paula Young. It's got fluffy bangs for those of us who have that wide, long forehead that want to cover it. This works really well, beautiful fluffy bangs. Couldn't, couldn't ask for better bangs. And a little bit of height up on the top, almost the 80s look, very, very pretty. Very, very cute. It's beautiful, soft, fluffy bangs. It frames the face. Um, it is five inches in the front, 13 inches in the back and sides, 14 inches in the nape of the neck, 11 inches on the top and the crown. Those are the measurements on the gale. So look for the, look for the gale in various hairstyles today on the shorts because I'll be putting her in different kinds of hairstyles just for the fun of it. 
but I think she's perfectly adorable and perfectly suitable for an older woman like me in a ponytail or a low bun. A ponytail or a low bun, just like this. I think it looks perfectly normal and perfectly acceptable. You can pull down some side framing pieces if you want. You can do that on either side. This side is shorter, I've noticed that. You see that? Then this side. This side will pull down a little bit longer. This side is a little bit shorter, so you have to work with that a little bit. Every wig you have to work with in some kind of a way. And this wig, there is no difference. So this is the Gale from Paula Young in Sunkissed Blonde. Here's the tag right here. It's a Paula Young wig, very affordable. And this is the Gale. There's no reason not to have at least one long wig in your wig closet, just for those days when you want a ponytail or a braid or a bubble or whatever you like. These are youthful styles and they do make you look younger, not older. So if I just wear it straight down, yeah, it looks kind of weird on an old girl like me. It does. But if I put it back in a pony or a high pony or a bun or something like that, then it looks perfectly acceptable. These are the reasons why everyone should have a long wig, I think. Even when you're older, 75 like me, I think it's still appropriate and you can wear it down. Pull back into a low pony or a bun or however you want to. The color is 1426A or Sun Kiss Blonde or um, Medium Ash Blonde with Gold Blonde highlights. That's the color. So this is the wig of the day. This is the Gale by Paula Young. Love it, love it, love it. It's going to be one of my all-time favorites like the always. So, all right, I want to talk to you about something else now. I want to talk to you about love people, love God. The greatest commandment says to love God and our neighbors as ourselves. Love God with all our hearts and our souls and our minds and our strength. That's what the Bible tells us to do, to love God. And then love our neighbors as we love our own selves. Love our neighbors. This, is the great, this has the greatest impact on our heart and on our lives and everything we do. This is the secret to having a great life. Loving God loving people. I've seen this on people's tennis shoes. Love God on one, on one shoe, love people on the other. Love God, love people. The greatest commandment. Probably the hardest one, too. Um, Jesus will never let you down. Trust him today and love God and love your fellow man. Be kind. Do kind things for people. Don't be impatient. Give people some extra, extra amount of room and patience. And I thank you, and I will see you tomorrow. But before I do, I wanted to just mention something. I changed up what's on my wig heads, and I put bigger letters so you could see it better. So I'll get out of the way and let you have a look real quick. Bailey down here. I don't know if you can see the L on the Bailey. Turn her head a little bit so you can see it. And there they are. So if you have any interest in finding out more about some of these wigs, I'll leave a description in the box below of these wigs and a link to where you can find them. That's on what's on my wig heads today. And that's all I have for you. This is the Bailey wig in Sunkissed Blonde, and I'll see you tomorrow.